Hey everybody, so I recently tried to port a Chrome extension into Safari. So here's what I did. First thing I did was grab the extension ID in, in Chrome. So you go right here and I would go right here and here is the extension ID. Um, this is the particular extension that I tried to grab. This one right here. And then I went back and here are the instructions I used. <clears throat> so and we're here. Step one is grab the ID from the drop down menu. <clears throat> You have to be in developer mode and grab the ID. And now you go to this menu here. So I went to this menu here. And this is how I did it. Go to Go to this folder, and yeah, it's right there. And yeah, I find the package. And then I navigated inside that folder. And I navigated it using the terminal. And then I just use these two commands right here, which you'll see that are right here in the terminal. I'm not going to run them again, except I replaced the um, sections in the open parentheses with the ID that I showed you a bit earlier. And then I ran the converter, which is this one here. And you can see that one. If I type XC run and he'll, you'll see it, it's right there. And then once that was po uh, done, you can see my extension right here in Safari. Where's Safari? It's not open, of course, but I'll open it and we can go to, to developer, um, not developer, but settings and then you'll see that the application is not, or my extension rather, is not yet available. And this is why I couldn't continue using it. So my extension isn't available. And but if I go to developer and click on allow unsigned extensions and enter my password, and if I go back to extensions now, you will see that this is the extension that I ported over from Google Chrome. And if I go to it, I can see all this stuff available to me and I can Click on it right here, 
an answer for YouTube and I'll get this all of these settings I've set up once before but they are now back to not um, being set up so therefore the the Google Chrome application is not useful to me or to anybody for that matter because I don't want to have to remember to do the settings each time I run the extension unlike when I'm here in Google Chrome and I look at the extension it should be actually some of it isn't even done but I didn't do it for Google Chrome but in Google Chrome the elements that you set up will stay selected like um, the 1080p HD for videos and playlists um, but whenever you uh, try to run it in Safari the Chrome the extension has to be enabled using uh, unsigned extension setting and you have to redo all your settings in here so therefore this extension is not useful when ported over from Google Chrome into Safari do you guys have a solution for this let me know down in the comments and anyway guys that's all I have for you today and just remember this video is not intended to be a tutorial this was just showing you my experience porting over a Google Chrome extension into Safari. All right, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment on this video, and I'll see you in the next one.